30 seconds to wrap things up and we'll start on this and work our way down. We're still in a financial situation that's not favorable. So that's what we need to focus on is our finances. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm Jacqueline Allen. You can find out more about me on my website at www.jacquelinelive. It's been an honor and a pleasure. My name is Catherine Smith Mills, and I just want to leave you with two things tonight. If you want to have job access in Cincinnati, vote for me. If you want to have a bigger voice in Cincinnati, vote for me. Mills means jobs. Remember that come November 8th. My name is Christopher Smitherman. The biggest issue facing the city is our deficit. On November the 9th, there will be a discussion about a 33 to $40 million deficit that this council has to resolve. Who do you want in the chairs making those tough decisions? Thank you. Yeah. I'm a best friend. I'm going to be focusing on Cincinnati's future. I believe financially we're at a place where we need to get a second job. So we have to find a way to grow revenue. And we don't want to tax people. So we've got to find a way to do that. And I'm going to be exploring ways to grow the Cincinnati revenue. So that, say yes to Yvette. The city has uh, 19 departments that run, make up the city. 33% of those are 17 of those departments. The other two make up 67% of the total budget of the city of Cincinnati. Since I came on, we have cut, cut, cut from that 33%. At some point, we got to make a decision. We got to find new sources of revenue, sustainable revenue, or we're going to have to cut into that 67 percent. That's the bottom line. I'm Lori Quinlivan. Thank you for taking me from the I team to your team at City Hall. I really enjoy serving you. I like working hard. I put my small business on hold so I can devote my full-time attention to making the tough decisions and having the vision and the courage to see it through for you. I want to thank you, Lincoln Ware and the African American Chamber, for this opportunity. Two things I'm going to do for you. I have a jobs plan. I want you to go on my website. It's about jobs in this economy. I want to make sure we put our people to work and back to work. Second thing I want to do for you is to make sure that our community is safe and secure for everyone. The third thing I want you to remember, I want you to remember one thing, that Charlie Winburn works for you. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln and the Chamber, for having me. I'm Mike Allen. I think the biggest issue facing this city is public safety. We can't lay off police officers. We can't lay off firefighters. If you don't have a safe city, you can't create jobs. And that's going to be what I'm going to be talking about during this campaign. Thank you. My name is Chris Steelbach. Thank you all for having us. If there's one thing I want you to remember is that I will be a fighter to make sure our health centers stay open. Um, I'm fighting to make sure that, that the 35,000 people that go through our health centers every year don't find, don't have to find somewhere else to get their, uh, to, to make sure they're healthy. So that's one thing I want you to remember. I will fight to make sure our health centers stay open. Hey folks, my name is Nicholas Holland. Uh, thank you again for giving us all the opportunity to stand before you, answer your questions, and work towards earning one of your votes for city council. Uh, it's pretty simple what you're going to get out of me. You know, I'm a progressive liberal who wants to fight for equal rights, who wants to fight for human services. And as a small business owner, I know what it is to run a budget. And I guarantee you this. When I'm on council, the city budget will always have space for human services. Thank you. I hope I've sounded tonight like I have some common sense and made a good impression. But if you're still undecided, that's all right. Because I'm going to keep coming to your church. I'm going to keep coming to your community council meetings. I'm going to keep showing up on your front porch. I'm going to do that now and when I'm on city council. I'm going to do that in every neighborhood. I care about every neighborhood. My name is P.G. Sittenfeld. I love your support in November. Thank you. I'm Wendell Young. I want to thank everyone for allowing me to be here. I want to assure you that I remember where I came from. There's a whole lot of poor kid left in me. That poor kid that grew up here in Avondale is now fortunate enough to be on city council. I understand money. I understand not having it. I understand trying to find ways to get more. Count on me to continue to do what I've been doing. Finding efficiencies, finding ways to save money, finding ways to put people back to work. I'm Wendell Young. I'd love to have your support in November. Thank you. But I want to say that I, I've been listening to all the things that we want to do to this city. You know, the streetcar, the casino, Paul Brown Stadium. All of that is in vain if we do not decrease the crime and uh, violence in the city. I am for the people. I am a West End girl. I'm still a West End girl. I walk these streets. So if anyone ever heard of the off the street program over the line, I was one of the ladies with instrumental in pulling those cross street off the street. So Thank I am for the people. Thank you. I'm Kevin Flynn. It's really, really simple. My three most important issues budget, budget, and budget. Protect our city through the budget. 
preserve our neighborhoods through the budget and promote growth in jobs through the budget. I'm Kevin Flint, Kevin and Eleven, win with Flint. Thank you. Our government affairs group led by Zola Stewart and Christy Bryant uh, put together a political candidates forum. And uh, if anybody, you know, thinks about business and politics, those are two things that are intertwined. Uh, so when we start thinking about job creation and improving neighborhoods, usually the growth of small businesses drives that. And so tonight we had a conversation, a dialogue with uh, incumbent uh, city council members in Senate Cincinnati and also the new ones who are trying to get on to kind of get their points of view on issues that are important to our, our community. Well, the first thing is that everybody needs to have a focus on small business growth because we are a chamber of commerce. And uh, so we're looking for individuals who are going to advocate for policies, not only for our bigger corporations, but also for our smaller businesses in neighborhoods like Avondale. So I think what we need to do is make sure that first is um, there needs to be small business advocacy uh, and individuals working with associations like the African American Chamber uh, to ensure that we, the policies are right and they're effective. Uh, the second part people need to be looking at is ensuring that uh, council members do what they say they're going to do. And so these forums are really a, a method in terms of getting on the record what individuals' positions are such that we can come back to them, whoever's seated at that particular point, and uh, request the support for our community.